But if you have an irresistible offer, you'll be the first thought when they do get. Don't even think about it because the for ninety seven dollars, it's really nothing to think about. Uh, I just made nine hundred fifty off of my first deal. So not, what's what's ninety seven dollars to you know nine hundred dollars? Nothing. It validates things. It, it shows that you know uh, you know anybody can make money themselves. The test is can you help other people make money? Can you teach yeah. other people? Can you help other people? Right. So when I see you guys doing good, man, like so you you are an inspiration. Another thing I want to say, those books um, that we go over weekly in the in the program is mind opening. Like every every week, each book that I read just opens my mind up to let me know I gotta I gotta move in a certain way to you know unlock that freedom, financial freedom. So What's up? that's a that's another huge plus for the group. I mean, especially for the price, I feel like everyone watching this video should definitely get in. It's not even a thought at this point. All right, so we are back again. You guys saw some of you saw the first halfway interview I did with this brother right here. Um, and the first interview was an attempt just to show you guys how fast you can start getting results in the copy and paste rental community in course. Um, but we have some better news than we had last time. Tell them what happened, man. Yeah. All right. So, um, I got my first book in, uh, closed my first deal for a party bus, uh, 30 seater and, uh, yeah, that's one down many more to go. Exactly. Okay. So how much did you list it for? I uh, listed it for twenty eight fifty. Twenty eight fifty, nice. What was your profit on that? My profit on that will be about nine hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Appreciate Anybody you. watching this right now? You hear me? So check this out. If you are already in the AJU private community, man, this is what I'm talking about. Because I had a couple of you guys hit me up and be like, yo, I got leads, but they ain't closed. And then I ain't heard nothing else from y'all. I'm like, so what are you doing now? Are you in some other group, some other course or something like that? No, you have to make a decision. You got to decide to like go all in with something. Or are you going to constantly be hopping from niche to niche business model to business model? So the first time we did this interview with uh, Shaquem here, uh, if you guys don't know his name, it's Shaquem. Uh, first time we did the interview, he got a lead. The lead was for how much? What, 1500 1500 yep. And he didn't close that one. What happened with that one? That one... Uh... The customer wasn't prepared to spend that much. They said they had about seven hundred for the budget, so we just couldn't make it work. Okay, and how? Uh, and your partner is 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 uh, flexible. Pause. They're flexible with the prices with you, right? Actually, no, they're not. Uh, they're not. They, not yet. Not yet. I had a couple partners tell me, you know, once once you bring a couple over, then we can work with you on price. So okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Okay. So the good thing about this, y'all, is okay. How did, how did you get the lead? I'm going to let him talk. How, how did you get the lead? So I got the lead on Thumbtack and that lead actually came in about a week after I set up my Thumbtack. Mm -hmm. I think it was about my third or fourth lead. And I talked to the lady. She told me um, everything that she had planned for that day. I gave her the irresistible offer and uh, she said she'll get back to me. And two weeks went by. I didn't hear anything. And then she randomly called me uh, a couple of days ago and said, hey, I want to go ahead and move forward with it and book. <laughs> and got her book. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Like, listen, y'all, like, um, in the, a lot of people are window shoppers, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes yeah. they ain't got it right then and there. But if you have an irresistible <laughs> offer, you'll be the first thought when they do get it. I've done that a lot of times. If you check my bookmarks, uh, uh like on my web, uh, on, on my computer, like I got hella stuff, bookmarked stuff probably from like, when I first got this computer down and forgot about where I'm like, you know what? I'm going to come back and get that when I got some time to work on that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I got music softwares and stuff because I'm I still try to do music sometimes, but I, I'm not good at making beats. So it's certain like commercials I see for beat making. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, ooh, I'm going to get that. But right now I'm working on uh, uh, the school. So I'll come back to that later. So like my point is. Like if it's nowhere near their birthday or the, you know, a lot of people are just scoping out stuff that they're going to do. So as long as you make that connection with them, just because you ain't make the collection of the payment that day doesn't mean that is is all over. This lady hits you back and pay. Come on, man. Yep. So, so once again, how much was the first lead for? 1500 Okay. You didn't get that one. Now let's fast forward. How much was this yeah. second quote for? two thousand eight hundred fifty dollars and you profited how much nine hundred fifty dollars and how much hard work did you have to do to get that lead or sale 
<laughs> it was just a thumb uh a thumbtack listen come on man and it leads are coming in the leads just come in daily come on this is what i'm trying to say y'all like come on listen i i, I, I i'm used to teaching people seo which takes yeah. time i'm used to teaching people ads i'm used to teaching people all these different uh uh very you know strategic methods of marketing advertising and and lead conversion and stuff using these platforms in a way that they're supposed to be used guys that can cut like cut the work down like almost non-existent technically he can get someone now uh uh, uh that work on a um performance base you put up a you can put a zip uh, zip recruiter right now and you can just have people reply to the leads and they can close them for you now like the if you guys don't understand, Thumbtack is a platform that does lead generation for a service provider. So, and they're worth billions. This is what they do. So this is why, and you see how I be stressing it, Shaquem, you know, like when people yeah. get in there, I, I like, yo, please, I'm there begging them. Just put up your Thumbtack, put up your Thumbtack, right? So yeah. you got to find a partner. And he said, uh, the good thing you said was like, yo, they said, yo, once you start bringing me some people, and then I'll be a little bit flexible. That's cool. Sometimes it'll be like that, y'all. But also yeah. do whatever you got to do to get a good partner. If you got to go to a different city, a different state, uh, uh, you know, a different freaking country, I don't, it doesn't matter. Like a lot of people, Shaquem, they'll, they'll call a couple people or they'll message a couple people and be like, ah, oh, man, I couldn't get a partner. And I'm like, it's 50 something states now. How, how are you done? You're not done you know yeah. so but yeah man so go ahead and uh, give them a little bit uh uh insight on your experience in the community so far so so far in the community it's been great it's been um everyone is willing to help you know even in uh in the facebook community i was able to reach out to a couple of students and that were ahead of me and they like willingly gave me info gave me little tips and tricks uh, how to, uh, you know, speak to certain leads. So uh, all the info in the course and the community is just great. It really tells you step by step uh, how to do it. And yeah, that, that thumbtack is really the most important thing. I definitely see why you stress it so much because it's it just, just gives you leads like on a daily basis. So yeah, that is that is a good first step to get easy leads. But so like if I, if, if I don't even know if it was around. It might have been, but I didn't know anything about Thumbtack back when I had Limo Service Champ. Back when I had yeah. my limo company, like dog, I was just doing everything from scratch, SEO and all of that. And I still killed killed it and flipped that, you know, entity, right? If Thumbtack was a or if I knew if I was aware of Thumbtack back then, man, like y'all don't understand watching this right now. By tomorrow morning, you can have leads in your inbox, right? Like by tomorrow morning. And if you know how to construct the irresistible offer, how we teach you to, then it's pretty much candy from a baby. You're only you're, you're only gonna have to go through so many leads before somebody like says, Oh hell yeah, right? I gotta do that. And you Okay, so how did how did uh how much did they charge you for the lead? Uh, for that lead, I think they charged me like like eleven fifty or something like eleven dollars, pretty much eleven twelve dollars. Come on, well man. worth it for uh, on, for twenty eight fifty booking. <laughs> Come on, man. This reminds me of Keith, Coach Keith, right? Uh, yeah, that's the you know one hundred and forty k in ninety days party bus student. Um, if you don't turn that off, but anyway, so like. He put up the ad. He put up a Facebook ad. Like I said, back then, I wasn't like on the thumbtack, you know, situation. Uh, he put up a Facebook ad in like six hours. I think he only spent $17. And yeah. that's why he stayed in that niche for all them years before he got, you know, back into his day trading thing. Like $17. Th that's how powerful the irresistible offer is. Right. So how many people put up irresistible offers on thumbtack in your area? Like, have you looked Zero. at the business? <laughs> yeah, I, I looked at all of them. No, nobody has offered anywhere near my irresistible <laughs> offer. So yeah, in that in that aspect, the market is wide open. And a lot of people, I, I still get uh, messages and people are like, "Yo, is the party bus niche still open?" Check this out. Anybody watching this from YouTube or anywhere else, every niche is open. Okay, um, stop putting yourself on the shelf. You want to sell more sodas? Don't. Place yourself next to Dr. Pepper. Don't place yourself next to Peppy. Don't uh, Pepsi. Don't place yourself next to Sprite. Right? 
you need to have your own setup in the store. You need to have your own little kiosk or something like that. Like that's what the irresistible offer does for you. He said in his area with the party buses, nobody is putting up an offer like what we've been doing. So that makes it to where, okay, it appears as if you're on a shelf, like, okay, party bus, party bus, party bus, hold on. But then the light shines in the grocery store and they see this whole <laughs> section for this one product. And it's like, dog, if I get this one soda, I get three bags of chips with it. You know, I, I, I get $50 to go to the casino with it, some scratch offs. I get, you know, all of this extra stuff. So if you stand out when you create the irresistible offer. So my point is no niche is saturated if you create an irresistible offer. When you blend in and look like everybody else, yeah, you got to struggle. Yeah, you got to be thirsty when the league, when you get on there with a league, like, yo, 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 you should get with us. We have the cheapest prices in town. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. How much um, in your area, how much were the other people charging? Like, do you remember seeing their prices? Um, Yeah, so it's kind of like within a price range of like uh, 200 to $250 per hour okay so that's around the range okay uh and the average block a person will be on is like uh like a four or five hour block right how many how many hours did your people request they needed it for six hours come on man do, do y'all yeah. see so we get to charge either the same or more than all the rest of the people <laughs> but the irresistible offer makes it to where even though they got those cheaper options and like, but yeah, I can save a couple of dollars. Kind, maybe not, because I still need to go to the restaurant for whatever mm -hmm. the occasion is. I still need a hotel. I still probably need a rental car. Still want to go out and do certain things and stuff. So if you create an irresistible offers that are all inclusive for whatever you like, you're projecting the experience that they might be desiring or whatever. Like, is 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 anyway. So. <laughs> I'll be trying to tell people, Shaquem, like uh, uh, people like right now, it's, it's going to be people watching this and they're going to say, OK, uh, well, but how do I know it will work for me? I'm like, dog, OK, the Bible says, let all your ways be established. That means proven. That means don't mm -hmm. reinvent the wheel. That means once you see something that works, you do it and you put your spin on it. So, OK, is it saturated? No. It's all different types of transportation. Okay. You got all, okay. Somebody invented a restaurant. They could have just stopped right there. Other people could say, oh man, there's already a restaurant out there. <sighs> I was going to come up with a restaurant idea, but I can't do it now. No, they said, okay, they got a burger place. I'll do tacos. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. They did tacos. I'll do a steakhouse. Oh, they did Italian. Then they did Mediterranean. Oh, vegan, keto restaurants, blah, blah, blah. You take what works and you put your spin on it. And when you put the irresistible offer on it, it makes it to where it doesn't matter if they got on their, their site, been in business since 1842. None of that matters to the customer. What matters is the offer, right? Yeah. Okay, so do you have any plans for uh, uh, like a, any different niches or anything? Yeah, um, I, I'm looking to get into the yacht industry and yeah. um, start drop servicing uh, yacht trips. And um, I'm, I'm also also have plans to you know start automating my systems because the leads are coming in now from you know different platforms. So uh, I think I feel like once I get a couple more, I can uh, maybe like hire a VA and yeah. get it automated so I can branch off to different. To different fields different industries and sure. uh, also another thing i wanted to say those books um that we go over weekly in the in the program is mind opening like every every week each book that i read just opens my mind up to let me know i gotta i gotta move in a certain way to you know unlock that freedom financial freedom so What's up? that's a that's another huge plus for the group i mean especially for the price i feel like everyone watching this video should definitely get in it's not even a, a thought at this point you understand what i'm saying like yo People will like, you know, they don't understand, man. Like, okay, um, uh, pride comes before the fall. So I, I try to stay as humble as I possibly can. This is why I usually start the video off talking about what my students did instead of me. Yo, I've, I've made 20K in an hour before. I've done different things that I can pass off to people. You understand? That's what God brings us through things for. So we can turn around, find our people and show them the, the exact same thing. So sometimes people, 
will watch the videos the game and they'll see 97 bucks they'll go i don't have a landing page on purpose mm -hmm. you notice it just goes straight to paypal we show you enough on this channel and it's a working real business model you've seen party buses drive past you on the street right so i don't feel like i need to do all of this on this channel and get a landing page and do more selling just to cure insecurities or skepticisms that is something that's within guys if you see something that works and is currently working and it makes sense, it's not about me. It's not about me. I've seen plenty of people that never done stuff themselves teach something that works and the people still get results. So whether or not you like me, it doesn't stop the business model from working. So Shaquem, they'll hit you up and they'll be like, yo, man, is this $97 one time or is this $97 a month? They'll tell them it's $97 a month and they'll panic and i'm like y'all don't understand what happens on mondays mondays is the um you drop you drop a new uh a new course in the program come on man these are courses Which that i so so if you think that i'm all about money i need y'all to be on this go on this channel i've been here since 2015 every course that i drop on mondays inside that pro inside that group i've sold for two thousand five thousand dollars people that are paying 97 dollars a month are getting a new course that's dropped in there that with working business models as well every monday every yeah. monday because i got like i've been doing this since the end of 2014 so i i have real estate programs all different types of stuff and i've always done things differently from my peers on youtube a more yes. simplified version because i've always been at a disadvantage credit wasn't good didn't have credit cards for advertising didn't have networks so everything i teach whether it's the real estate or no matter what it is is always a more simplified version uh designed to like expedite the process and get rid of the hurdles that you would typically have to do with the uh original business model for example and i always try to go high ticket Shaquem. So we have mm -hmm. one that I'm about to drop Monday is local drop shipping, right? Or local e-commerce. So a lot of these dudes yeah. teach all this, oh, I'm going to go on this Chinese website and sell baby bottles on this other Shopify site and bull crap like that. Well, we teach you to drop ship cars, same day delivery, different stuff like that, like locally, you understand? Like, so this is what you guys get in there. And we go live like he was talking about uh we do mm -hmm. the book readings we have thursday mind transfer says that's my favorite part i ain't gonna lie man like yeah yeah same here same part. here yeah because dude like it's it took me all these years to like even find these books and stuff if if somebody would have just said here just stop stop buying everything stop being on all these webinars read this set of books i don't <laughs> know where i real talk i don't know where i would be books are freaking powerful if y'all don't think so they, they are extremely powerful um Okay. But anyway, so you have plans of getting into the yacht uh, rental niche. What is appealing or attractive about that niche? So uh, the first thing is the margins, of course, you know, it, um, to have a higher reward. And then also, uh, I'm about an hour and 30 minutes from uh, a beach. So, um, and there are lots of boats out there, lots of yachts. So when I see that, I just see opportunity. For and, sure. you know, from what I'm learning on, on how to do this business from the party bus aspect, I can easily transition over, apply the same rules to yacht and uh, use my margins. For sure. Uh, in case y'all yeah. don't know, like I haven't done this in a few years and I only done a couple years if I'm being, uh, uh, a couple years, only did a couple deals if I'm being honest. I never went too, 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 too deep into the yachts. Um, but you can book, okay, for a weekend, it could be $18,000 just for a weekend. These are completely different this is a whole different world if I'm if I'm just being honest with you guys, right? So we do the party buses. The reason why I stopped with the uh, the yachts is because uh, where I was doing the SEO at, it was like super competitive, and the mainly the leads I was getting was from paid traffic, and I ain't mm -hmm. feel like dealing with it because it was way easier for me to get even bigger margins with the private jet charter. So I was doing the private jet okay. charters, you know what I'm saying? So I, you know, but a couple yacht rental deals. My whole goal was for people to be able to uh, um, get a sale or two 
and cover their monthly expense because it's difficult for you to get a lot of sales. A lot of people don't understand how difficult if you're inexperienced, sales is difficult because you think you're supposed to sell when you're not supposed to sell. You're supposed to make people feel comfortable with a decision that they already made for themselves that's good for them. That's what real sales is. Um, so since most people don't know that and they're very pitchy and and don't know that they're supposed to take people away from pain or towards pleasure. And that if somebody is brand new and they don't know you yet, if you're trying to take them towards pleasure, they're going to be more skeptical. So when you first meet a person, you want to take them away from pain. That's why you want to know mm -hmm. pain points and all of that stuff. But see, when you have the irresistible offer and you combine that with high ticket services or products, then you only need to get, even if you're a horrible salesperson, you only need a couple sales per month to cover all of your freaking monthly expenses. So yep. yes, I strongly suggest um, you branch off into more cities, right? If you want to scale up, that's why it's so awesome to do these things virtually, because technically if you want to scale, all you have to do is the same thing in another city online. Go on Thumbtack, create a listing in another city or create a different Thumbtack account or have a friend create a different Thumbtack account in a different city and you split the profits with that person. You can literally scale to six different towns over freaking night if you wanted to. See, so like, you, you understand? So, yep. so I'm happy that you uh, want to go get into the yacht rentals. It's, a, it's an awesome niche. Now, especially now that I know more about platforms and stuff, because back in the day, like I said, I was just doing SEO and ads and stuff. And it was like, yo, that's super competitive in Miami. So let's just do this yacht, uh, this this private jet rental. Um, OK, so let me ask this. Um, how many different business models have you tried before you ran into this situation? Um, just like in general, like in, in life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've tried a lot of different <laughs> business models. I'm I'm like a serial entrepreneur, so I've been you know running businesses for like the last eight or nine years, and yeah, uh, I tried right. a lot. I tried a lot of stuff. I used to flip cars. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I used to I used to actually buy cars and rent them out, and I realized yeah. how stressful that was. So it now is. drop servicing and being on the remote side of it. Yeah. It's just the best because I don't have to, to deal, I don't have to worry about dealing with the vehicles, maintenance, any of that. I'm just, you know, marketing and making the money in the middle. For sure. See, yeah, and that's the difference, man. Like when you do everything virtually is is barely any overhead besides uh lead costs or any type of like different software that, or something that you have to do or something. Like you said, you don't have to you ain't got to get dressed if you don't want to. I mean, look at me. I ain't even got the whole shirt yeah. on, right? You know, like <laughs> exactly, right? I'm in a whole different country, right? Most business models don't allow that, and that's why I tell a person, "Oh, this person got a raise at this company, or he he makes fifty dollars an hour, or this person does this." I'm like, but they can't leave though. <laughs> mm -hmm. They can't go nowhere though, you know. So this will allow you, you know, uh, and and if you decide you want to do other uh, business models or something, it, virtual business models allow you to be able to do that stuff from anywhere, you know. Uh, I, I I was doing it in Mexico. Now I'm here, you know, so. Um, yeah, yeah. And um, I do this. Uh, so I, I I actually do this uh, on the government uh, uh, side, too, because I, I do government contracting and yeah. I'm pretty much job servicing for the government also. Nice. So that's why I was uh, definitely attracted to this industry when, when I saw you doing it from a different angle that wasn't government. Yeah. I was like, oh, that that makes a lot of sense. And it's, you know, right on my alley. So uh, it, it's a it's a good like same different industry. For sure. Different For sure. department, yeah. Um, yeah. I suggest if you didn't already take the profits and do something with it, uh, reinvest. Not all. You ain't got to reinvest all of it. You can use a little bit of it as a pat on the back. You know, <laughs> you know it works now. So like, it's nothing. You know, I would put um maybe two to three if you still have it. Two to three of that into the uh, Facebook ad. Okay. Okay. Or even better into partnerships. I'm about to say something publicly because I don't like to hold anything back. What I mean by putting two or three of it into partnerships is simply contacting limo companies in the city that you're advertising in your service. Companies that only have limos but don't have a party bus because now you can create a mutually beneficial relationship, right? So when they getting leads that's coming in for bachelor parties and stuff, I'd much rather be on a party bus for my bachelor party than a stretch limo. 
I much rather be yeah. on a party bus for my birthday than in a pink stretched Hummer. Like I just do. And most people feel that same way. So when people go to their sites for their birthdays and stuff, sometimes they don't see the party bus option. It would be good for them to have that option as an extra income stream that they don't even have to do the work for. Now they're drop servicing you, right? So all, yeah. all you need to do is you take the 300. If you decide you don't want to do the Facebook ads, I would like, yo, let me pay you uh, 50 bucks, <laughs> 50 or 100 bucks. You only really need two partners, right? Here, yeah. create a page on your site or a button on your site that leads to my party bus site. And whoever comes from your site, uh, from that page that you created for me, uh, I will give you a percentage of what we book from that. Very simple. It only takes them or their developer five, 10 minutes to create a page or a link going to you. Very yeah. damn simple. Like anybody watching this right now can do that. You can go and email them like, yo, I got a party bus company. I want to send you limo leads and I want you to send me party bus leads. All you have to do is make a little button at the top that says, hey, go here for party bus. Mm -hmm. That's it. So that's free leads. So if you go to the top ranking people in your city, they're getting traffic already so you can start experiencing these free leads coming in within the next 48 hours kind of like thumbtack they're already yeah. getting traffic and visitors on their sites if they're ranking at the top of google not to mention they might be running facebook ads we never know so whoever goes to their site you're piggybacking or lamb backing you're hijacking you know the traffic you're just being another option and is something they don't have to they don't have to do the work no overhead no staff training no no nothing they literally get a piece of the action just by creating an extra page for you. So yeah. that's what I would do because then those, sure. are lead, those are leads that you don't have to pay for. So let's recap. How much did they charge you for that last successful booking? How much did they charge that lead for? $11. And how much did you profit? $950. So on his thumbtack listing or I, I don't, maybe on the call or something, you guys settled for $2,800 with the lady, right? Yep. He was able to pull nine hundred dollars from that. How long were you on the phone with her? Would you say I was on the phone with her for about maybe five to ten minutes? She paid over the phone, smooth transaction. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all. If I'm watching this from YouTube right now, then I would be getting in. I would go into that pen comment and I'd be getting inside that copy and paste rental course. If I'm watching this from the group, then I would stop being a freaking baby just because the first couple leads didn't convert. I would figure out what I'm going to do with my partners. I told y'all before, start with the partners. If they ain't working in the city that you're in, fine. F that city. No offense to the people there, but F that. Go to a different city. Find a new partner. Like I said, play around. Go to Illinois. Go to freaking Mississippi. Go to a town where they're they're probably going to let you, you know, hey, we do 400 bucks, 500 bucks. Now you got a huge margin. All right, cool. So I can do $1,400 for this and just pass him 400 bucks, 500 bucks. Get your partners right. And then you simply put your thumbtack game on and make sure you put your irresistible, always lead with your irresistible offer. But you want to make sure you have justification for why that offer is so good to be true. Okay. <sighs> okay. So, man. I'm, I'm I'm proud of you, man, because I know it seems like, OK, well, it's still fresh. It's, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of people watching this right now have bought into courses and programs, got their first rejection. And then that was all you heard from them. So the yeah. fact that I'm I, I went in that group, I saw that post that he just got his first book. And, like, listen. I was more excited for you than I do when I get sales. Like that, that that's what like I remember when when I, you know, I still buy programs and coaching and all that stuff, but I remember thinking to myself BS when the coaches and stuff used to say it's it's it, you know, money doesn't mean that much to me. It's about you guys and success. I'm like, "Get the Yeah. <laughs> well, how come it's not free then? How come it's not free?" <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But I, I get it now. Like, dog, I ran and told my wife when you got when I saw that post. Like, is it's something that you, I don't know because it validates things. It, it shows that you know, uh, you know, anybody can make money themselves. The test is, can you help other people make money? Can you teach yes. other people? Can you help other people? Right. So when I see you guys doing good, man, like, so you you are an inspiration. I'm waiting for Chris. To get his, like he was one of the first ones in the group to post that he got a lead. 
and I, you know, I haven't heard nothing back since then, Chris. What's up, man? Uh, <laughs> but y'all got to keep going, man. Keep going. Like, tweak the offer, tweak the prices, tweak the freaking city. Do whatever you got to do because you it, it works. And once it's set up, y'all, like, come on. So what would you recommend to anybody watching this right now that's looking for a business? <clears throat> I would recommend definitely joining the group, joining the community. Don't even think about it because the for ninety seven dollars is really nothing to think about. Uh, I just made nine hundred fifty off of my first deal. So not, what's what's ninety seven dollars to you know nine hundred dollars? Nothing. Come on, come on, man, come on. Let the risk know. versus reward is incredible. And then I mean, you don't have to be a genius for this, right? Then we give you guys a party bus site, but he ain't. I don't even think you had to use your site yet, have you? Not yet. I haven't had to use it. It's it's, it's set up, but. Thumb packages, feeding me them leads. So I'm, yeah. Yeah. See, so when you get in, we get, we'll transfer a party bus site to you. That's mainly just for <laughs> decorations. But when you get your SEO going and it start ranking and everything in Google, then it'll start bringing in some leads. But to tell you the truth, I really preach just get in there, make your partnership, put up your thumbtack, and then just let it, let it do its work. Um, okay. So um just keep going shakeem man like you you yes sir you're an inspiration man for real for real not Appreciate just to that. them but to me because i've had that shiny object syndrome too man you know mm -hmm. everybody every entrepreneur went through it so to be able to fight through that it takes strong will so congratulations on on that and congratulations on your success if you have any questions and stuff like that you just dm me man um hey you guys go ahead and get in the game uh, soon, Shaquem is going to be a coach. So keep going with this, man. All right. Yes, sir. Got you. I appreciate you.